Yeah, we're looking at some precipitation coming this week, and that could be significant in some areas. But we'll have a few showers and storms today, maybe some south, but most areas will probably remain dry through probably early Saturday, and even showers next week continue probably for Monday. The big also story will be the temperatures. Last few days of really the warmth and the humidity. Then we'll kind of cool off this weekend to probably 70s by Sunday, and these early September temperatures will probably continue next week. For today, not the story. Upper 80s, low 90s for most of the area. Maybe a shower or storm. Humidity levels quite up there. Dew points, upper 60s, maybe 70. So then tonight, uh, tomorrow, temperatures don't change much. The winds turn around a little bit, so that will mean some drier air comes in. So the dew points won't be as high, but still upper 80s. The big news is this threat of significant precipitation really is, continues to increase across the course of the Midwest. We could see an area swapped that includes La Crosse and Eau Claire, depending on the track. It could be one to two, even potentially higher than them amounts basically looking for a Saturday night through Sunday time frame. So that's what we're tracking. Once again, it could be significant. We could use it, especially with still drought conditions going on. Really, we're going to watch the last of these waves come across the area. And here's the system that's evolving, lifting out of the southwest. And it's going to lift and then spread across the areas you can see in South Dakota by tomorrow. And then it's going to continue to track east and evolve as it gets closer, but not probably until Saturday afternoon or even evening. So Saturday morning probably will start dry, but things will change as we get towards the nighttime. As we look at the bigger picture, this track is still somewhat uncertain, so it could change with the precipitation, but it should go somewhere through the area, and then the wraparound moisture will continue Sunday with the northwest winds, and then it kind of scoots off Monday. We start drying out, and maybe by midweek, there's another system that begins to lift to the up into the area by that time frame, bringing in more rain maybe midweek. But once again, we're still looking at this uh, this weekend one. Severe weather threat Saturday looks like to the southwest as it gets closer. I don't think we'll see much of the severe threat. We'll see if these storms continue to get, make their way up here Saturday night into Sunday, but right now the main severe threat, even slight risk, looks to be south of the area right now as we're going to be kind of under the influence of the low. So that's what we're seeing right there. The other big picture that we're also looking at, significant rainfall threat, excessive rainfall. This could mean some flooding issues if it sets up right, and they're given a slight risk for excessive rainfall. As you saw, we could see two to three inches depending on how heavy it does fall. But today, a few showers that will come through. We'll notice that this afternoon. Hit and miss. Tomorrow, a similar story, but I think further south. Southern areas might see a shower well south of west Wisconsin. Otherwise, the activity really doesn't start getting going until we get to Saturday morning. We'll see not much going on. But otherwise, upper 80s, 90s, and as you look at the forecast, dropping those temperatures down with the rainfall looks to be Sunday and maybe by midweek.